it's the revolution glow splendor ultra matte bronzer glow what bronzer bronzer hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing some revolution products and it's the revolution glow splendor ultra matte bronzers and i've got the shades medium dark and dark um i'm not really good at buying stuff online i i really do like to go in the store to like test it out on my skin because my skin has different undertones i i sometimes see red or yellow so i have a bit of trouble when i'm shopping for makeup so this is what they look like they come in really nice packaging the usual rose gold packaging comes in a lovely package i bought the medium dark one first um just because online the medium dark looked a bit darker than what the what dark looked like i was stammering between the two so i was just like let me just buy medium dark i haven't actually tried the medium dark on yet so this will be like the first impressions video as well but yeah when i swatched it it did look a bit cool so that's why I bought dark as well. So yeah, um, let me take them out of the packaging and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty. Love, love, love the size of it. This product it will last me a very long time. I don't even think I will hit pan to be honest but yeah this is what it looks like and that's how it comes lovely big mirror as well love 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 the mirror on this wow I actually might use this as a mirror today since it's so big let me open the other one as well So this one, I opened this one already. So this is medium dark and that's what it looks like. And that is dark. So I put them up against each other now. So you can see the two together. This is medium dark and this is dark and looking at it now in the bright lights i can see that this one looks a bit more cooler than this one mm, it smells so nice i've not had any makeup that actually has a flavor so this is quite new to me and i yeah i'm, I'm all for it. it smells like pina colada yeah pina colada which is quite nice. I mean, sometimes makeup can smell quite, I don't know, what's the word? Sometimes makeup don't really smell very nice. So anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put medium dark on this side, and I'm gonna put the dark on this side so that I can compare the colors. So let me just put my hair out of the way. Right, that's better. So, I'm going to take my Real Technique Sculpting Brush and I'm going to apply medium dark on this side of my face, okay? Um, oh, there's a lot of kickback on the product, so make sure to, I don't really like doing this, but just tap it out. There we go. I'm gonna go a little bit at a time. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit at a time because this looks like it can do a lot of damage really quick. I'm gonna take some under there as well, actually. I 
and that looks all right. Not, not mad at it. I will still use this. It's not bad at all. It is definitely cooler than you would want for a bronzer, but I'm not not mad at that. Mm -mm. I definitely will use it for a contour. Or even like just to deepen up a bronzer, maybe. I wouldn't put any more than that I could probably apply a little bit more but let me put dark on this side and then see how it looks so and I'm going in with dark I'm gonna use a different brush this is a clean brush this is a multitask real technique brush mm. no this is this is exactly what you need in a bronzer for dark skin girls or brown skin girls this oh yeah this is exactly what you need oh wow yeah I do like that but I feel like I might use both because I do like the deepness in this side, like it's giving me a tanned look. And then this is giving me the red bronzer tone that you like in a bronzer. My favorite bronzer at the moment is the CoverGirl and Ebony Bronze. And this is giving me those type of feels. I don't know if that's my blush or the bronzer, <laughs> but it looks a bit pinky there. I like them both, I really do. So this is dark. And this is medium dark. So it's a bit confusing for me anyway because I would have thought that dark would be a darker tone, which is why I didn't go for dark. Because I wanted I wanted a bronzer, not a contour. I didn't want it to be dark. So it's coming up quite red let me apply just a little bit more just to see if it will deepen up a bit because I feel like with how red it's coming up I might need to apply some of that medium dark on top of it I don't know maybe it's the bright lights Maybe if I wanted more of a natural bronze in look, I would use the dark. And if I wanted more of a chiseled, deeper bronzer, I'll probably put a little bit of medium dark on top of dark. And um, let me just do that just to see how it looks and see if I like it. I don't know. Looking made it a bit too cool tone. No. Hmm. Mm. I do love the way it looks though. It applies so smooth. Definitely don't need a lot of this product. Oh my god. You don't need a lot of this product at all. Just gonna apply a little bit more. Just to see, just to see if you can really apply too much. I'll suggest to just Go in little bit by little bit and build up little bit by little bit. I 
This is only medium dark on this side. I'm not mad at that at all. I don't know which one I prefer, honestly. This side is giving me more holiday vibes. Yeah, so I think dark is the winner here. From what I've seen, dark suits a lot of different skin tones. So if you are thinking which shade to buy and you're my skin tone, or maybe a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, I'll just buy dark. And if you wanted more of a contour vibe, um, I'll get the medium dark. I haven't really tried any bronzers from different brands because I've been pretty happy with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. So I can't really compare it to the other bronzers that might be out there at the moment. But I've done a bit of shopping on Revolution website and I saw these bronzers. I didn't even know they were new. So I just thought, let me just buy one, see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll just give it to my niece, whatever. But um, no, then I realised that it's quite brand new. But I thought, let me just do a review on it anyway. So, um, I do have, let me actually just take down my hair because, <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I did a bit of shopping on the Revolution website and I've got some other products that I want to try out. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss it. Also, I just recorded a video of me during my braid out that I love to wear during summer, winter, all year round. And this is how they turn out. So if you wanna see that video, I'll link it in the description box below. So if you are just starting out and building up your makeup collection, this is the way to go. For a bronzer that's affordable, eight pounds, you cannot go wrong. Honestly, you can't go wrong. And I mean, just look. Look. But you just got to decide whether you want a more cool look or whether you want more of a red look. And for me, I like both. So I will not be giving away one of these to my niece. She can clear off and go buy her own. I don't know if you can hear that my belly, I'm hungry. Okay, I gotta go, I'm hungry. <laughs> my belly's rumbling. <laughs> oh if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. So if you'd like to see how I got this braid out. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm just, I'm just checking. It's just the lap. Why is he talking so loud? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Anyway, I can't even remember what I was saying. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any more videos from me. I guess that's what I'm saying. Oh.